थैंक यू अपन्ना सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फ्लटर एक्सेबिलिटी फंडामेंटल्स सो आई एम यूर टूर गाइड फॉर दिस सेशन एंड आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम त्रिपुर वेंकट कृष्ण सुमकर आई एम हैविंग एट प्लस इयर्स ऑफ मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट and uh, i am working as a senior mobile application developer at dq software private limited you can reach me out krishna.sumkara@dq.com so comes to today's agenda so flutter and accessibility overview so flutter what is this flutter basically so flutter is an open source ui framework which is developed by google so using flutter we can uh, implement the applications for android ios mac os windows etc so it has some portable library that library will communicate with each and every operating system which means that we have to write the code at one instance we can run the code in different operating systems for android we can run for ios also we can run so comes to accessibility point of view so whether flutter will accessible or not if accessible how much it is accessible as it is developed by google as we think if it is not accessible means that it's not a good idea so we can check what are the myths of accessibility and flutter and we can check general accessibility issues while facing uh, implementation of mobile applications so the myth of accessibility and flutter so as flutter is uh, not new to our world but as the community people saying that flutter is not much user friendly comes to accessibility point of view so so many advocates are who are implementing the application by using flutter framework facing so many issues to make their apps are accessible for the users with disability so it's not really true flutter also supports accessibility we just need to dig more to knowledge of the flutter framework how we can make accessible using the flutter framework today we will discuss about the flutter framework accessibility points and what are the apis flutter is giving to make apps are accessible so yeah general issues you can say navigation so how we can perform navigation by using screen readers so screen reader means that it's a software we can say in ios we have voice over for android we have talk back for user with disability use so they can switch on the screen reader the screen reader will read the content on the screen on the current ui and each and every controller has some properties so one more point is comes to flutter we can call it as in general we have buttons labels etc in flutter we can call button widget label widget text field widget everything as a widget while comes to flutter framework in ios we can call it as ui controllers in android we can call it as layouts so as platform changes the terminology will vary but overall it is a button so how we can make any interactive element as navigational pull for the screen reader users and images how we can make images as accessible how we can add custom actions reading order of the screen readers and status messages i will explain in detail about what are the issues how it will refer comes to screen reader users so uh, i feel this session has to be more interactive and uh, i am posting the github resource here so the code is available public for everyone so everyone can uh, check the code how we how we can make the application as accessible as picking the default widgets so yes comes to flutter as i told yes 
by using Flutter framework also, we can make our apps are accessible using semantics. So semantics is a widget which is developed by Flutter framework. So what it will do? For example, if I created one UI application, in my application, I have some images and after that, some descriptions are there. For each and every UI controller, if we can use this semantics API, the semantics API will create another tree structure for each and every UI element respect to levels. I can say parents and childs, parents and childs. So these semantics tree structure will read by the screen readers and search engines and any other analytic tools are there if you can integrate. Those tools will read the data by using this semantics. So this is the more important API to make any application using Flutter framework to make it as accessible. So we will check some properties of uh, semantics API. So what are the default properties in general, how we can use, what are the basic things we can use? So label, this semantic widget has a property of label. So this label take the input of textual description of the widget. I can say if you can take it as a button, button title is a create account. This create account will take as textual description for the semantic widget. And this label will read by screen reader users. So this label will announce for the screen reader users by using the assistive technologies. Next is value. So for every widget, if it is uh, actionable, if, if it stores any state of the particular element, it has some value. For example, slider. Slider has some current value. What is the current value of the slider? Or else switch control, toggle button. Toggle button has some value of on and off. If you want to make it as accessible clearly, we have to update this value property of the semantic widget for the particular widget. So, we can make widgets as uh, child widgets. I will show the code. So parent widget is there. Every parent widget has the child widgets. So semantic is the parent widget. Semantic child widget has the buttons, labels, everything, whatever it is. And this semantic widget have these properties of label value. And next is header. So it's a Boolean value it will take. So if you want to read any label, as header for the screen reader users, we need to update this property as true. So by default, the value is false or else if you want, if we have the screen title is there. So I make it as a custom navigationable view or custom navigation widget upon that thing. In that cases, I need to update the title semantic property of header as true. Now only that label will read as heading for the screen reader users. Like this, we have so many properties out there as like is button, is selected, hint. Same as like other technologies, if you can take iOS or Android, what are the properties comes to accessibility? Same properties are available for the Flutter as well. Some terminology will vary. And next one more important thing is custom semantic actions. So what is this custom semantic actions? So if we have a button or else if you have, uh, uh, in general, we have some actions like slide to open or swipe to read or swipe to delete or double tap to activate is a different, triple tap to do for some actions. In those cases, these interactions are available for the normal users. While it comes to user with disabilities, they can perform one action at a time. In those cases, if there is any, these type of custom gestures, we can say, we need to create custom semantic actions for the widgets. So this custom semantic action will take it as a label. What is the button name? I can say functionality name and the functionality we need to do. So here is the link of semantic property. So go and check each and every property is there and in detail about the property we have. So now we will discuss about the general issues of accessibility, navigation. So what do you mean by navigation? 
So for screen readers as like talkback and voiceover, how it will work is whenever we enable the screen reader by using swipe left or right, the current focus upon the screen will move to the next object, next interactive element, you can say. So upon the screen, I have one button and this button is not accessible. I can say not accessible means not focusable by the screen reader. In those cases, we can say it as a navigational issue. So we need to make that button as accessible. Next is images. In general, we can use images in different ways. Like I can make images as actionable button and I can make image as uh, contain some informative information or as complex information I can give and I will assign some description, long description. Or else in some cases I can use the images as background for the screen as decorative images. So in for images, what are the issues we can face, how we can resolve them. And next is custom actions. Yes, custom actions means as we discussed custom semantic actions, I can say. So for, for example, if button is there, button has some default action, the default action will be available for the normal users. And the same default action will be available for the user with disability. Apart from that, if you perform any custom gestures, if you add anything regarding the custom gestures or zoom in, zoom out, anything like that, we have to add it as a custom actions for the widgets. So for all those things, we can call it as custom actions. So initially, I will show you the demo of uh, issues. So we will observe what are the issues when it comes to screen reader users, and we will figure out the solutions for those things. So I'm using uh, Android Studio to implement the Flutter uh, application, and um, I will represent the demo in the Android device. I'm running the app in the device. I'm sharing my device screen. Krishna, we're not able to hear the audio if you're sharing it. No, not yet, Aparna. All right, thank you. taking time to run the device yeah i'm running it give me a minute So this is a demo screen. So I'm enabling the talkback in Android. I'm sharing the device again. Oh. 
One UI home. Flutter underscore. Home screen, comma, page four of four. Flutter underscore A11Y underscore demo. Accessibility checks, heading, out of list. So if you want to move focus to the next elements in the UI, we can do swipe, swipe actions, swipe left or right. So I'm doing swipe left. Exclude semantics, heading. So the screen reader is read it as exclude semantics and heading. Okay. Active image, heading. If you can observe the screen reader, skip this button and it comes to next heading as active image. Unlabeled button, double dash tap to activate period. So active image, I can say it's a button and I'm using image as a button. Screen reader will announce as the unlabeled button. Formative image heading. Custom actions. We can observe here. Here also screen reader skip this image. And next comes to custom actions. Tap to sound button. Double dash tap to activate period. So for example, if we could think that this button has triple tap action is there. Double tap action is the default thing. Triple tap action is also there. Now, if you can observe the screen contains first, first object is not accessible. Next is an active image, but it is announcing as unlabeled button. Next is informative image, but the alternative text is not available for the screen reader users. And next, it has some custom actions that custom actions has to be accessible for the screen reader users as well. So we can check each and each, uh, every issue in detail and we can check the code, how we can make it as accessible for the screen reader users. Sue, stop share comma. Sue, current view is active speaker comma double tap to hide toolbar period. Landscape. So first is navigation. So buttons, if you can take it as a button, or sliders by default those are interactive widgets so if there is any interactive widgets is there by default screen reader will read it as interactive and the screen reader focus will go there and it will read the content if there is anything problem is there we need to check one property when it comes to flutter framework that is exclude semantics so semantics widget has this property of exclude semantics by default, this property is false, which means that exclude semantics. The name itself telling that exclude this particular widget from the semantic tree. By default, is false means each and every widget has to be in the semantic tree. So in our code, as we implemented, but that button is not accessible, which means that that button is excluded from this semantic tree. So here is the code. So here is one button is there that is not accessible. And uh, I'm taking the semantic widget and the child is this button with the title of this one. And here is the property of exclude semantics. Due to this property, the screen there is unable to read this button. Next, as we discuss images. So if you want to make images as accessible, we need to set alternative text for each and every image. So we can use images as active images. So we can add some gestures for the image and then that image will act as a button or else if you have informative or complex images. So the button, the image have some information which will reflect it for the, all the users. And if you want to make it as accessible and we have to update alternative text for that image. And next is decorative images. So in all these cases, we have to make it as uh, images as accessible. We need to use the property of label of the semantics widget. So if it is active image, make it as a child of semantic widget and update the label property what that image contains interactions will do if it is an informative or complex image what is the alternative text for that image we have to update that alternative text for the label property of the cinematic while it comes to decorative image by default images are not accessible 
so we don't want to do anything we just add as an image widget in detail a, as a background image if you update the label property for the image by default the screen reader will read it as an informative image so in our code we have it as an active image so here is the code implementation so i'm added a gesture detector widget so now as a child of active image this will be as interactive and it will act as a button i can say so for this in the example we don't provide the label property due to this thing the screen reader is announcing as unlabeled button so to resolve this issue we need to update the label property as the what the button functionality will do so i'm updating the label as send email now the screen reader will read it as a send email comma button why button means it is a under gesture detector so which means that it is an interactive thing for informative or complex images we just want to update the label property here this container has a child of informative image and i'm taking it as in the under semantic widget and i'm updating the label without this label property it is a decorative image with the label property it is informative or complex image make sure that if it is a decorative image we don't want to update the label property otherwise we have to give the label property as alternative text of that image custom actions so tap to sound is there so here that is the button of elevated button and uh, tap to sound. I have some default action and I'm taking this button under the semantics widget and I'm adding custom semantic actions. We can add more than one actions as a custom semantic action. So each custom semantic action one label, what is the button name and have some closer block I can say. So in the block, what are the functionality we need to implement? We can do. For demo purpose, I am adding a snack bar, which we can say tooltip. So whenever user click on this one, one tooltip will come. So in which cases we can use this custom semantics is if you have any gesture, custom gestures are there, swipe interactions are there, triple tap, zoom in, zoom out everywhere. We need to add custom semantic actions for the widgets and the same functionality we have to provide here. So these custom semantic actions will read by screen readers by using router properties. So from the router properties, if any actions are available, how many actions are there? This label, it will announce for the screen reader. And as per the respect to action, user with disability can access the same actions which are available for the normal users. So I will show you the code. So first thing is exclude semantics. If you can observe, exclude semantics is reading as a heading. Why? Because we are updated the header property as enabled. Next, here the code is telling that exclude this particular widget from the semantic tree. Due to this, this not accessible button is not focusable by the screen reader. So I make it as a false here. And I'm updating the title as accessible. Next, active image. Here is a gesture detector. And I'm not giving the label property here due to that screen reader is telling us unlabeled button. Now I'm giving the label property. So this label property will read it as a button name for the screen reader users. Due to the interactions available here, it will tell as a button next is informative image here also as we discuss the label property is not assigned for this particular image and next if you can check here this is a button the default action is it's a default action for the snack bar and if you have any custom actions we have to give custom semantic actions property 
So this custom semantic action property will take more than one custom actions. And I'm giving one custom action as a title of custom action. Whenever user perform this action, the tooltip will say it's a custom action. These are the fixes. So first thing is exclude semantics. We are now it is false. Now this particular widget material button widget will be includes in the semantic tree. And for active images, we have to give label property along with interactions. For custom actions, we have to give custom semantic action with the label name, with the functionality of what we need to do. I will run this code again in the device and I will represent how the talkback will announce for these things. Current view is active speaker, comma, double tap. Portrait. Share comma button. Zoom. Screen. Five of seven. One UI home. Folder colon Google. Out of list. I shared the device double dash, screen. Tap, activate period comma double dash tap and hold to long press period comma actions available comma use swipe up then right to view period. Three colon one PM. Charging stop battery left one UI home. Charging started battery level thirty seven percent period. Folder colon Google. Double dash tap to activate period comma double dash tap and hold to long press period comma actions available comma use swipe up then right to view period. Flutter underscore A11 Y underscore demo. Accessibility checks. Accessibility checks. Heading. Now I'm performing swipe actions to move the focus. Exclude semantics. Heading. Accessible button. Now dash tap to this button period. is accessible. Active image. Heading. Sendy dash mail button. Double dash tap to activate period. So due to the label property, this active image button, now it is accessible with the perfect name. Informative image. Heading. 50% off shop now. Image. So previous without label property, the focus itself doesn't meet this image. Due to the label property, now it is focusable and it is announcing the alternative text we assigned as a label property for the semantic widget. Custom actions. Tap to sound button. It's default action. I performed the default action initially. Talk back menu. Actions, one of nine, in list, nine items. Actions. Custom action out of list. Here is Double the tap to period. custom semantic action we added. I'm performing now custom semantic action. Flutter underscore A11 Y underscore demo. Tap to sound button. Top back menu. Action. Actions. Custom action. Flutter underscore A11. It's default action. Okay. Button. Give me a minute. Double dash tap to activate period. Is it not run correctly? Okay. Tap to sound. Top back menu. Action, actions, custom action. Flutter underscore A11, it's default, okay, button. It's custom action, okay, button. Okay, so it's available due to the previous snack bar, it is under the previous snack bar. Give me a minute. Accessibility okay. checks, heading, tap to sound, button. Top back menu, action, actions, custom action, out of lift, it's custom action. Flutter okay. underscore A11, now, I underscore demo, tap to sound, button. Custom Double action also performed. Period. It's custom action, okay, button. Accessibility checks, heading. Like this, we can make images as accessible and we can make interactive elements are focusable and we can add custom actions for any widget. Zoom, stop, here come. Zoom. Comes to next.
we pick two more things as reading order and status messages so reading order what is the reading order so whenever screen reader starts some order will be there for moving the focus thing so i can say compiler by default read the elements from left to right so the focus comes from from the starting point to the, the current screen to the next element next element as per the dom structure how we added so for example in some cases the reading order is very well for the visible users and it is not good for the user with disability in those cases we need to set this reading order correctly by using the semantic api next is status messages for example i am hitting on api request and the user has to if it is a normal user will understand by using the loader we are representing and the response came we are removing the loader for user with disability they don't know if there is any request is going on in the background what is going on in those cases we need to update some status messages we need to make some announcements for the user with disabilities in so many cases are there like if you want to add some items to the cart initially it is one item now the item cart will be two items for visibly our focus will go there because the count is updated for the user with the users with disabilities they doesn't understand what the what's uh, going on in those cases also we can use status messages so initially i will represent your demo with issues you will understand what are the issues are there and i will let you know how we can fix those issues I'm running in the device. System UI, three bullet, six PM. Charging stop battery level thirty seven for lit. Current view is active speaker, comma, double tap to hide toolbar period. What happened now? We cannot see your screen if you're sharing the device. Yeah, no, not yet. I'm about to share. Yeah, I'm connecting the device. Yeah. yeah. While running in the device, if we can compare with native things, it will take time because it will load the library first and then it will load the respect to platform. So, Flutter underscore A11, Y underscore dev, navigation, one UI home, home screen, comma, share, comma, button, zoom, screen, one UI, overview, one UI, home screen, comma, page four, four, Flutter underscore A11, Y underscore demo, so accessibility checks, heading, out of list. Initially, I will move my focus. We will observe what are the issues existing in this screen. Reading order, heading, first name, last name. First name, edit box. Last name, edit box. If you can observe, double dash tap to edit text period, comma editing options available, comma use swipe up then right to view period. If you can observe, the focus comes to first name first. Immediate next swipe, the focus goes to the last name, and then it goes to the first name edit text field, and then it goes to last name edit text field. But normal users, if you can observe the screen, it is fine as we can understand, okay, after first name, the text will be associated with the first name only. So we have to enter first name here. 
for users with disabilities they doesn't understand as per this Pre reading order Wednesday comma August 17 sorry device up screen off period free call and not zoom home screen letter one UI home home screen zoom share comma zoom screen then one UI home letter home screen comma page one reading order heading first name so we have to fix the reading order as the focus first comes to first name and for the next focus last it has name. to comes to first name edit text field and then the focus comes to last name after that it has to go to last name edit text field first name edit box last name edit box next is create account button if you can Double think that while hitting this create account i am taking the first name and last name input fields and hitting the api request after that i am navigating something or i am changing this view for normal users it is fine for users with disability they doesn't understand what's going on in these cases we need to tell that uh, disability users by making some announcements so i'm giving First some name. input here showing english left part hi hi letter underscore showing english so i perform create account action but there is no announcement for the disability users they doesn't understand what's going on here we will check the code snippets right now annotation stop keyboard double dash tap to activate period current view is share comma double tap to hide toolbar period sorry so reading order in semantics we have one property as sort key with ordinal sort key so this ordinal sort key will take input of integer values i can say so we need to give the sequence of numbers in which way our screen reader has to read the screen content so if you want to make this screen as accessible for the users with disability we need to give ordinal sort key for the first name label as one and next swipe the focus has to go to the first name edit text field so in that case i i can give the edit text field as two and for the next swipe it has to go to the last name and last name edit text field by using this ordinal sort key i'm giving the sequence of numbers as one two three four as per this number sequence the screen reader will move the focus next is status messages so it flutter is providing one service of semantics service so by using this semantics service we can make announcements so in our example we have create account so while click on that create account assume that we are hitting some api once the response came we have to announce that registration is successful so in the previous code we cannot perform any announcement for the users with disability by using semantic services we can make announcements and it will take it as a string object what are the announcement we need to provide and the text direction and show you the code So if you can observe here, initially, ordinal sort key for first name is one, and first name text form field is three, and last name is two, last name text form field is four. Due to this, the focus coming from first name first, and for the next swipe, it is going to the last name. So fix this issue. We have to give correct reading order. by using this ordinal sort key so now the focus comes to first as the first name and then comes to the first name text field and then comes to last name after that it comes to last name text field here i am doing some validation checks as well 
if the string is not available, I am returning some error. By default, these error messages will be announceable for the users with disability. Whenever we perform create account action here, if the input fields are empty, it will announce that we need some input fields. These are uh, required form fields, it can say. And next is semantic service. So when user click on this button, I'm not giving any announcement for the users with disability. By using semantic service and using announcement function, I'm giving registration successful as one announcement for the users with disability. So these are the fixes for this one. First one is ordinal sort key by using semantics only. Semantics has a shield of the particular widget and the sort key as an ordinal sort key with the integer values. We can give the sequence of numbers in which way we need a reading order. And next is semantic services. By using the semantic services, we can make announcements which are available for the users with disability. I will run the code again in the device. We will check how the talkback will read the things. Sharing the device Share screen. underscore a 11 y underscore demo accessibility checks accessibility checks heading out of list reading order heading now i'm moving the screen reader focus we fix the things let's see now how the screen reader will read the screen first name first name edit box last name last name edit box now the reading Double order is perfect period, comma, editing options available comma use swipe up then right to view period the reading order is perfect now for the users. So the focus comes to first name and then for next swipe immediately it goes to the first name input field. Create account button. So dash tap to activate period. as I've written some validations here and uh, we are returning some errors. So if we can perform without the input fields, the address will be announceable. Please enter first name. Please enter last name. So now I'm giving proper input. First name, showing English R, S, H, N, A, letter underscore A, 11, Y, on, G, board, T, B, B, letter underscore A, 11, Y, underscore, Now, I'm performing create account action. Double dash tap to activate. Registration successful. Now, it is telling that registration is successful. One announcement is coming. So, the users with disability will understand, okay, the API request is performed very well. So we can use these things so many ways while loading the screen. If we can represent any loaders upon the screen, we will make the announcement as requesting for the API or loading something. In those cases also, we can use these announcements. Okay. Double dash tap to activate period. Sorry. Um... So we covered we covered the basic issues what we will face by using Plato framework. As for the conclusion, what we can say is compared to other frameworks, yes, Flutter is also accessible. We can make most of the widgets are accessible by using the semantic widget API, which is providing by the Flutter. And we can check each and every widget. If you have any custom widgets, if you can create custom widgets by using the semantics properties, we can make those custom widgets also accessible. And Flutter is giving community support for each and every thing as like 
for accessibility thing, they have some separate Slack channels as well. So we can post there and we can get the answers for the questions. And it's a, not, I can say, as compared to the iOS and Android, because iOS and Android are there from so many years when it comes to the Flutter is recent thing, I can say. But it is most of the accessible things. So well compared to other things. Only few things are not access, not up to the mark as compared to the native thing because it's an hybrid cross-platform framework as Flutter. Okay, now we can check if you have any questions about the Flutter. So I'm I will we will provide this PPT as well. I will give you the these reference links from where I get the data about the Flutter framework. Active speaker, comma, double tap to hide toolbar here. Charging stop, battery level 38%, period. Portrait. Any queries, any inputs? I do not see any questions coming in or um, I should be missing any, no, right? Uh, that's right, Aparna. Yeah. For now, we don't have any Q and A. Right. Um, we will just wait for a couple of minutes in ha in case you have any questions. Um, but otherwise, if if no questions, then I think um this is what we really have to offer today. Thank you, Krishna. Um, it was insightful and helpful. And in case you need, um, we will be sending the recording and the slides as well shortly. Uh, but if you any of you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to answer them. All right, um, then I think we are good to conclude the session. Thank you so much for um, taking time to come and listen to us. Uh, definitely, Amit, we will send yeah. the recording as well as the slides. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for everyone. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.